You know you can afford a septum or two. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. No doubt requesting to garrison his men in my castle. How many times must I deny him? Well, out with it! I see. Give the papers to my steward. Don't be daft. Proventus is my eyes. Just give me the letter. I presume once I have it, I can do as I please with it? Good. Hmm. <clears throat> These are interesting reports. Proventus, what do you make of all this? If Ulfric were to attack Whiterun... As in all things, Lord, caution. I urge us to wait and see. Pray wait. I'm of a mind with Ireleth. It's time to act. You plan to march on Windhelm? I'm not a fool, Proventus. I mean, it's time to challenge Ulfric to face me as a man, or to declare his intentions. He'll do no such thing. He was rather straightforward with Torig. Torig? He simply walked up to the boy and murdered him. That boy was High King of Skyrim. I'm not the High King, but neither am I a boy. If Ulfric wants to challenge my rule in the old way, let him. Though I suspect he'll prefer to send his storm cloaks to do it for him. True. He's already proven his personal strength. Now he seeks to prove his armies. Then might I urge you to consider General Tullius's request? I mean, if you are bent on offending Jarl Ulfric. Ulfric is the one who has offended. But Proventus has a point. Ulfric has made it clear. In his mind, to refuse his claim is to side with the Empire. And what harm is there in letting a few legionnaires die in place of your own men? It seems cowardly. Was it cowardly, then, to accept the White Gold Concordat? This again? That was different. Was I given a chance to object to the terms of the treaty? No. The Jarls weren't asked. We were told. And we had to like it. The chests of gold didn't hurt. Damn it! This isn't about gold! It's time to decide. Lord, wait. Let us see if Ulfric is serious. Oh, he's serious. But so am I. Finally. You there. I have a message for you to deliver to our friend, the esteemed Jarl of Windhelm. Deliver this axe to Ulfric Stormcloak. True, he's a dangerous and bloodthirsty man, but he's also a Nord that honors our traditions. Keep your wits about you and you won't be harmed. And then get back here, because if Ulfric isn't bluffing, I'll need every able body to defend Whiterun. Men who understand one another need not waste words. There are but a few simple truths behind one warrior giving another his axe. Ulfric will know my meaning. Good. Good. Proventus, bring me my pen and the good parchment. 
Now, if you don't mind, letter, I've got a... Yes, to General Talius. I need to make a few things clear before I accept these legionnaires of his. I serve Jarl Balgruff as steward. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. Hands to yourself, sneak thief. Hold it there. Keep your distance. Another girl killed. This is Susanna, from Candlehearth Hall. Served me a drink just a few nights ago, but I can't say I knew her. Susanna's the third. It's always the same. Young girl killed at night, body torn up. We're stretched thin as it is with the war. Nobody has the time to spend on this. Not pleasant, but it's the truth. If you want to help, ask some of these gawkers if they saw anything useful. I'm going to examine the body before the rats can get to it. Algriff won't give us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire's putting a great deal of pressure on White Run. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. They all know that. How long are you going to wait? You think I need to send Bolgraf a stronger message? If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet. Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? So we're ready to start this war in earnest then? Soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torig. Torig was merely a message to the other Jarls. Whoever we replace them with will need the support of our armies. We're ready when you are. Things hinge on Whiterun. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But if not... The people are behind you. Many, I fear, still need convincing. Then let them die with their false kings. We've been soldiers a long time. We know the price of freedom. But people are still weighing things in their hearts. What's left of Skyrim to wager? They have families to think of. How many of their sons and daughters follow your banner? We are their families. Well put, friend. Tell me, Galmar, why do you fight for me? I'd follow you into the depths of oblivion. You know that. Yes, but why do you fight? If not for me, what then? I'll die before elves dictate the fates of men. Are we not one in this? I fight for the men I've held in my arms, dying on foreign soil. I fight for their wives and children whose names I heard whispered in their last breaths. I fight for we few who did come home, only to find our country full of strangers wearing familiar faces. I fight for my people. Impoverished to pay the debts of an empire too weak to rule them, yet brands them criminals for wanting to rule themselves! I fight so that all the fighting I've already done hasn't been for nothing. I fight 
Because I must. Your words give voice to what we all feel, Uflik. And that's why you will be High King. But the day words are enough will be the day when soldiers like us are no longer needed. I will gladly retire from the world. Where such a day to go? Aye. But in the meantime, we have a war to plan. Yes. Make it quick. I'm a busy man. Is that so? I've been wondering when he'd come around. Oh. What's this? Ah. Uh, you're quite brave to carry such a message. It's a pity you've chosen the wrong side. You can return this axe to the man who sent it. And tell him he should prepare to entertain... visitors. I expect a great deal of excitement in the city of Whiterun in the near future. Take care. Keep your brother, and he'll keep you. Hey, you're the one who killed Elaine Dufont up in Raldbatha. Oh yeah, word about that got around. Man was a piece of bandit trash, is what I hear. A lot of respect for the Restoration School. <laughs> Don't think you can barter with me like one of those damned shopkeepers. Sir, I... I have a... Take a moment to breathe, soldier. But, uh, sir... Breathe. The outer walls are strong. If we can hold them there... They have catapults. Damn it. Where did they get catapults? The city walls are already falling apart as it is. My scouts tell me they're loading them with fire. So, he wants to take my city. Walls intact. The men will be fighting in flames. My men are fearless. It's the Imperial milk drinkers I'm worried about. If you prefer, I can take my men and leave. No, uh, of course not. Just don't let me down, Scipius. We'll need to set up water brigades to combat the flames. Already taken care of. You Imperials are efficient. I'll give you that. How long until they arrive? Sir. Not long. They're hiding in the countryside. Damn it. What's he waiting for? Sir? What? Sir, they're on the move. They'll be at the gates at any moment. Why didn't you say so immediately? Sir, I tried. This is it. Time to see what these storm cloaks are made of. The men are already gathering at the gates. Move it, soldier. Spread the word. Go, go, go! Oblivion, take them. Every miserable last one of them. You've returned with my axe. I knew that would be his response. As soon as you left, I sent word to General Tullius, who's been kind enough to lend us some of his troops and legate Scipius here. Let Ulfric try to make it past our combined forces. I'll turn you back over to your legion. Legate Scipius will have use for you. Gods be with us all.
Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. The Stormcloaks are here. In force. Get down to the front line. This is it. We must hold the city. Now move it! <laughs> 